Hi, my love. Thank you so much for allowing me to um, do this practice energy mediumship communication reading for you. Um, so this is just a mini because it's like, um, it was, this was back when I was asking for people to um, allow me to connect for you um, on a freebie, like, <laughs> so I could practice. Um, okay, so I gotta say, when I, when I first started to meditate with you, I have my notes here, the first thing that popped up was a white wolf. I saw a wolf, I saw a white wolf, I feel like the wolf is um, a major animal for you. I don't know if it's a favorite animal, if it's one that has followed you throughout your life. Maybe you've been recently seeing it a lot, but there is a wolf definitely um, around you. So I'm taking that to be animal guide energy, okay? And to me, wolves are protection, but they're when they howl at the moon, they're so intuitive. Um, I feel like they're spiritual protectors, so I'm feeling like the wolf is coming forward as a spiritual protector for you. Um, this is a guide that you can utilize to ask to sit by your side when you are doing, you know, your um, meditations or when you're doing, like, if you read cards and stuff, you know, you, you know what I mean? Like, when you're participating in the spiritual realm, um, asking your wolf guide to be next to you, I feel, is what he needs you to do. <laughs> Um, there's also a necklace popped up. So I saw a necklace. I don't know if it's an, an if it's an heirloom or if it is just um, a necklace that you own, but it has spirit energy. Okay. So I was feeling ancestral. So that's why I wrote heirloom. So I don't know if this is a, a necklace that has been passed down to you from family. Um, if it has been, uh, just know that that is your family coming through, acknowledging that you wear it and that you own it <laughs> and that they are around you. Um, but if this is not quite an heirloom, this there is a specific necklace that you own that has spiritual energy in it. Um, when you wear it, you are more connected to the spirit realm. So this could be kind of like um, a piece of jewelry that I would recommend you wear when you want to connect with spirit or when you want to, you know, when you're doing your card readings or when you're doing your, your runes or whatever it is that you do, wear the necklace, I feel, okay? <laughs> it has spirit in it. Like, I don't know, I don't want to freak you out, but I feel like it has an attachment to it and it's not a negative attachment, but there is definitely spirit energy attached to this particular necklace, Okay. Um, I put plant therapy. I don't know. That was random plant therapy. And then I also wrote herbs. So I don't know if you work with plants, you work with herbs, you work with, um, maybe you're comfortable with the plants. Maybe you have a green thumb, <laughs> but I feel like there's plant therapy and it's very therapeutic for you. I also feel like you need to have more house plants in your home, especially if you have your own room where you do your readings and whatnot, um, because they speak to you there. It's, it's, you're very earth energy based. Okay. Um, I also said, I also wrote to meditate and ask your guide to reveal your ability. So your wolf guide, you know, or, or any other guides that you may have around you that you've already identified. Um, but meditating and asking your guide, this could be a, like an activity for you to connect with your spirit guides and ask them to reveal to you in a symbol or a word or a form that you will understand what your ability is. Um, and trust exactly what comes through because I'm telling you, like, <laughs> you tend to doubt. That's also what I wrote, um, is that you will doubt um, yourself. You would doubt your feelings. And when you do that, it's like you're pushing back everything that you've been working so hard to try to obtain. I also put animal. So you have a lot of animal energy around you, but you have the ability to connect with animals. So I don't know if you've, if you've always known this about yourself, perhaps, um, but you have the ability to, you could see an animal and it's almost like, you know, what they're thinking, feeling, um, especially canines. I put canine connection. So I think that that has to go hand in hand with, with your wolf guide. Um, but I, for, <coughs> excuse me, for some reason, canines, dogs, wolves, very prominent around you, but I feel like you have the ability to, and I wrote also wrote empath, which is an empath is you're connecting to emotions, but I feel like you have that ability with animals. I don't know if you study animal or if you were like, a, you know, you were interested in being a vet or just, just there's things with animals with you. <laughs> um, I also wrote clear knowing. I don't know. I don't remember what what I think it's claircognizant that just came to mind is probably it probably is spirits probably saying it's claircognizant rose 
Um, but the ability of clear knowing. So I wrote, you'll sometimes just know, but you doubt your feelings. So sometimes you will just have an answer and you don't know where it came from. That's spirit talking to you. Okay. Um, this is like, and this, this one's going to be a little random. I'm still practicing. So I feel like there was, there's a grandfather. Um, so I wrote down grandfather and then I wrote hunter with a question mark. <laughs> I was saying guns. Okay. So I don't know if this is a grandfather that's passed or a spirit is showing something about a grandfather figure. I was seeing hunter energy guns. I don't know. That's just what I wrote down. <laughs> Um, I also put you were refueled when you were outdoors. So um, like for me, I'm very water energy with my chart, with my birth chart. So when I'm around a big body of water, I am super happy and I'm energized. I feel like for you, you are refueled. You refuel your energy when you were around life source, like trees, plants, flowers, all of the above. So that's why I was saying like, I feel like you need more house plants inside your home. It's, it's almost like you want like this magical forest in your home, right? <laughs> it's going to re-energize you. Um, I also wrote um, obsidian and labradorite. Those are two crystals that want to work with you in meditation. So if you own obsidian or and, and or labradorite, I highly suggest you get those out when you are meditating. Those are going to be really good crystals to connect with. Um, and then last but not least, I put Oracle deck to find your way through the, find your way through the cards. So I don't know if you found your deck, <laughs> but we all have that deck that just speaks to our souls when we use it. And I feel like for you, there is a certain Oracle deck that just speaks to your soul. And like whenever you pull cards from it, you don't even have to use the guidebook. You just know exactly what it's trying to tell you you need to work with that deck more. And that's the deck that I feel like you need to use when you're connecting with your higher self um, and, and ask the questions and feel your way through the cards, okay? So <laughs> thank you, my love, for allowing me to connect. I would love some feedback. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, loves.